Finally, we're getting closer and closer to getting this hall painted. All the preparation are pretty much almost done. What we have left is getting these iPads in here. Pad eyes, iPads, whatever you want to call them, are labeled pretty well. I had somewhat of a difficult time trying to see exactly where they went, but there was a picture that actually shows them clearly where they go. Now, what Trumpeter totally left out was this condenser discharge hole. When you look at this picture, you can see exactly where it's located vertically. Now, horizontally was the hard part to figure out where it went. I had to look at some plans. I found some plans and I was able to figure out exactly where it was. When you look at deck A, it'll give you a reference point where this is gonna be. Moving back to the stern area. Trumpeter once again decided to leave out these little four windows over here. What I decided to do was create this little template that I made. If you have your own method of getting these holes in there, it doesn't matter. The point is, do not forget to put these missing holes. As far as the rudder is concerned, I decided not to use Trumpeter's rudder because it is totally wrong. So I decided to use the MK rudder, but the MK rudder just doesn't fit and it has that ridiculous little um, lip here that goes into the little hole that was here as you can see this hole here is cut off and that's the way it is on the actual ship itself i decided to order a shapeways rudder and the shaft that's on the rudder itself will go right through this so that's going to be perfect i have that on order now and that'll be here shortly well let's talk about these propeller wings now, if you're wondering why i have this mass I will be putting a bead of putty here so I can get that nasty line out of here. So I found these plating details on the internet and sized them several times so I got to the point where they actually fit perfectly. The other thing, I don't know if you noticed, they're flat on this end. And I went on ahead and shaped it. Now, you don't want to make it a point. What you want to do is make it a curve, but, you know, a good curve like this. Um, so once we get all this done, the next thing we have to take care of, let me flip this over, is get the Titanic nameplate over here. Can I forget the coaling doors? So I went on ahead and drilled the coaling doors, and then I shaved them off. Let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and do our best to file it. This is a curved edge. Let's not lose this curve right here. Okay, that looks actually really damn good. Okay, so what you want to do now is we're going to put a bead of putty right across here to make this line disappear. You want to go ahead and just wipe it off with your finger. Don't press too hard and there it goes. Look at that. One shot. That's all you need. Don't mess with it. Leave it alone. Let it dry up. You want to go ahead and do the same thing in the bottom. That's it. One shot. But there you go. I wouldn't mess with that. Just leave it just the way it is. What you want to do now is go ahead and pull the tape off before the putty dries. All right, that's step one in getting these propeller wings fixed. Now, to keep this video honest, I need to mention that I did put a second bead of putty so I can have a more defined curvature. My initial plan was to sand this stuff down. What I discovered to get a better smooth look is not to sand it down to use your lacquer thinner to clean it off. I'm gonna go over here 
just to smooth that line and I'm going to rub the lock of thinner along that line. And look at that. Blends right in. So you can feel the lack of thinner trying to melt the plastic. That's when you back off and you turn around and you add more lack of thinner to your rag and just wipe. And just keep doing that. Going back and forth and you have that smooth look. I came up with several methods to put these plates on here and finally I found the method that works for me. My first attempt was using a heavy duty sticker paper that had very high adhesive and it stuck on there real good and this is what it looked like. It's okay but it's very very thick. The paper was too thick and that's why it looks the way it looks. And then I tried uh, thinner paper and I think I'm gonna go with this method. The next step is to actually cut these plates and get them on there. Here's the final result. It looks pretty decent. If you're wondering why I didn't bring these plates all the way to the end, because on the original ship, this is the casting that holds the propeller rod in place. So there are no plates on this area right here. In any rate, I'm going to have to seal this up and then prime it up. That should be pretty much it. Just one important note when installing the coaling doors with the Gorilla Glue you have plenty of time for it to dry. Just make sure you put a straight edge from the first coaling door so you can have them all aligned perfectly. I decided to remove all of Mini Brass's doors because as you can see the MK1 doors have rivets, frames, just like the actual door as depicted on this image right here. The only doors that I'm going to keep are the very top doors because they have this line going across. All the other doors we will be changing. We're going to start working on the bow details, basically getting these two plates on and these four rails. And then we have to get this drill bit 
that appears to fit perfectly. So here we completed the insulation of the rudder. I forgot to hit the play button, but basically all I did was drop a piece of super glue here and on the first bolt itself, uh, drop the whole shaft inside the hole and just aligned it with this piece right here. We're to the point where we're going to be installing these pad eyes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and install these to the bases before we cut the bases out. details are in at this point what we're going to do is just go ahead and start cleaning everything up look for any loose brass and if anything is misaligned go ahead and redo it this is where we're at right now the next step here is to mask all of this up and start painting this hall 